hey guys what's up so this is continuations of hybrid framework because i got a lot of requests to add some more videos in the hybrid framework and add some scripts in the hybrid framework right so i thought of okay let's uh, let's continue with the framework so uh, i think before this i have already released around, released around uh, more than 13 14 videos uh, for the hybrid framework so please make sure that you have watched my previous video and then only watch this otherwise you cannot you will not be able to understand the relation between the previous and this video right so this is my facebook page and a channel so you guys can subscribe my channel and like my facebook page and the github locations where you can get all the source code now uh, in the hybrid framework what i did it i added some helper class because when you have a framework when you say i have a framework which means your framework should have the support of everything right without a support a framework will not be a framework so if you look at the hybrid framework the old hybrid framework where i have added a package called helper package and in the helper package i have added this alert package right uh, i believe that you guys know to create the package just right click go to the new and you know click a folder so i have opened my project in the navigate uh, navigator menu right so to open the project in the navigator menu you can go to the windows so view and you have something called navigator when you click on that the project will open like this so i've created a package called alert this is our alert helper so if you look at the first three lines where i'm making the driver as a private and then uh, i'm in slicing the logger class okay which i will talk about from where this class is coming okay this statement i will talk later so first try to understand we have a driver called private and then we have a constructor so wherever we will call this alert helper we need to make the object of this class and we need to supply the driver why because we have only one constructor and which is parameterized so as you know that when a class has parameterized constructor you cannot make the object of default constructor so whenever you will call this alert helper you need to call with the object which i will show you in the script just try to understand what i am trying to say now so in the alert helpers we have all the helper functions like get alert accept alert this is all selenium method you guys might be knowing that dismiss alert get alert text is alert present accept alert if present dismiss alert if present right so these are the selenium methods guys uh, accept prompt right so i have written so that i can directly use in my script right so driver dot switch to alert this is normal selenium method if you know the selenium so before learning to the framework make sure that you know all the selenium basics so you, you will be able to write this easily now after this alert helper you have assertion helper this guy will help you uh, to do the right assertion so whenever you write the script you have lot of assertion which you have to use in the test script so better you write one helper assertion helper which will help you to put the assertions right and uh, why we have written this why we have not written in the test script when you write in the test script everywhere you have to write the code if you write this as a helper class it is very easy and you can write the log also based on your uh, requirement right so always make a helper class which is very good for the framework so first if you look at i have made verify element present which will give you true or false right here i have made public static synchronized boolean so return type is a boolean uh, a static means i don't want to create the object whenever i want to call this uh, method i don't want to create the object so i have made a static what does mean by synchronized synchronized means thread safe right so when you say static a static will not be a thread safe so when two thread will work on the method uh, chances of data corruption is high so to make sure that your method should be thread safe so i have written a synchronized this will be a thread safe and when you call this method and when you supply the element basically it will give you true or false so internally i am making a variable called false and this is normal selenium method so on this element we have something called is displayed if it is true then i am just writing that log.info this is our logger class which will help us to to log the event which i will tell you from where this is coming so element dot get text is displayed if it 
if it will go to the catch we will say that element not found and will return is displayed so is displayed in beginning it is a false so the moment is displayed will throw the exceptions as we know that in selenium is displayed will throw exceptions it will go to the catch right and this will be false so this return type will be a false now verify element not present same way uh, it's a web element in beginning it is a false so element dot is displayed it will check right so we are making sure that element not present so ideally it should go to the catch when it will go to the catch we'll make sure that is display flag is equal to true in beginning it was false so here when it will come here it will be true when it will not come into the catch it will be false so return type is going to be false again synchronized because i wanted to have the thread safe again the third helper verification helper verify text equal so verify text equal you will supply a element from where you want to get the text on the run time and the expected test right so whenever you will call this method in starting boolean flag is equal to false put it in a try block and actual text is nothing but the element dot get text which will come on the run time so when the actual text equal to expected test then say that log dot info uh, text is equal and return flag is equal to true so flag becomes true else flag becomes return flag so else return flag means flag will be false only so return type will be false when it will let's say when it will go to the catch by uh, because of any reason when it will go to the catch here we say that actual text unexpected is this and text is not matching and will print the exception ex will print the exception and then we'll do return flag so flag will be false only right so this three method will help us for the uh, assertion now third package if you look at we have a browser helper so this browser helper is nothing but actually it will again here you have an instance of web driver and this is the logger you need to register the log private logger log is equal to log helper dot get logger browser helper dot class which i will which i will i'll tell you this logger method from where it is coming but this browser helper is nothing but your browser helper dot class so when you say browser helper dot class basically you are registering this class for the log 4j and here we are writing that one constructor parameterized constructor of the class so to write the constructor your class name and your constructor name should be same this takes an argument web driver so web driver driver so whenever we will call the method of this class we need to create the object and we need to supply the driver so whenever you will call from the other class your driver will get in sliced okay which i will tell you uh, while using uh, this uh, web helper class in the script again we have some method uh, we, i am just creating a wrapper method go back navigate to back go forward driver dot navigate to forward refresh navigate to refresh get window handles this will give you all window id whenever you are working with multiple windows this will give you all window id switch to window based on the index so when you say switch to third window so the moment you will call the method internally it will do all job for you so internally uh, what it will do is uh, internally it will call get window handles so basically it will get all the window handles and whatever index you will supply here uh, it will it will actually uh, what it will do is uh, this is this is going to switch based based on based on your index right so what is what i am trying to do here is the get window handles so whenever this will give us the window handles so internally if you look at here i am calling the above method okay internally i am calling the above method and this method return type is a set of string uh, this uh, what i am trying to do this i am converting into a linked list okay i am converting into a linked list uh, why i am converting into a linked list so whatever index you will supply based on that i can switch to the window so if i say index index is greater than 0 and index is greater than window id dot size like if it is like whatever size came on the runtime if it is greater than the size index like whatever index you are supplying that so if index is greater so whatever index you are supplying and whatever window id we have if it is more than the index then throw the exceptions illegal argument exceptions like invalid index this index is not found else driver dot switch to window so whenever i don't write curly braces after if which means 
your first statement will get executed so both are correct even this is correct even this is correct both are correct so if this is the conditions means throw exceptions means your index is not matching else switch to the window window id dot get index like whatever index you are supplying it will switch to the window now you have a method called switch to the parent so switch to the parent window how to switch that in the moment you will call this method internally what it will do it will call uh, same thing get window handles it will get all the window handles and it will do driver dot switch to window window id dot zero because your first window is the parent window as we know that right so this guy will switch to the parent window right because window id dot get of zero is nothing but parent entity now switch to the child window so how do we switch to the child window so uh, switch to the switch to the parent will child close the method is switch to the parent and close all child window right so how to switch to the parent and how to close child window to do that it's a uh, pretty simple if you look at inside first i am calling the method switch to parent window so first we will switch to the parent like internally i am calling this method okay it's a dependent call internally i am calling this so it will switch to the parent the moment i will switch to the parent then uh, i am making get window handles method call which we have here this will give this will give us all the window id open and then we'll run a for loop here right we will we will run a for loop here uh, int i is equal to 1 why i am starting from 1 actually if you look at this is not required here okay this this code is not required here first you need to close all the child and then switch to the parent so i'm starting i is equal to 1 why because uh, why i is equal to 1 because i am doing the driver dot switch to window and then close so as you know that your first window is the parent window and which starts from 0 that is the reason I am calling i from 1. If I start from 0, parent will also get closed. So, I am starting from 1. I am running a loop and I am closing all the windows. So, what will happen? Your all child window will get closed and then we will switch to the parent, which means we will go back to the parent window. Now, switch to the frame. So, whatever name, based on name, if you want to switch, you can switch to the from, frame. You can write multiple methods for the frame also, like uh, switch based on locator, switch based on index. You can keep on adding here, okay? So, this is your browser helper. Similarly, what you have is, you have something called drop-down helper. So, drop-down helper, in Selenium, you have to work with the drop-downs, right? So, you need to have the helper class. Again, I am making driver is equal to private and I am registering the class so that I can use the log 4j uh, properties benefit and then I am creating the object of this uh, uh, I am creating the constructor of this class uh, with argument driver and with this local driver I am mean slicing the global driver so this dot driver when I say this dot driver which means it is the global is equal to this driver right and again here we have this uh, select method is the pretty straightforward select using visible uh, value so this when you will call this method supply element and supply the value so internally it will make the object of select class and select has a method select by visible text right so this will get this will work this is uh, select uh, get selected value so get selected value like in the drop down whatever value is selected you want to get that right so uh, you need to supply the element here whenever you will call this method make object of select class and it has options called get first selected options dot get text so basically this will give you the value from the uh, drop down now select using index so you supply the element and supply the index so make the object of select class select dot select by index supply the index your data will get selected get all drop down value so to get all drop down value you supply the locator make the object of select class so select has a method called get options it will get all the options and then uh, this uh, what you do is uh, uh, when you get all the options uh, you want to store you want to uh, so when you get all the options basically you will get list of wave element okay you will get list of wave element you need to convert into the string so I'm creating another actually linked list object. If you look at here, list of hello list is equal to new link list. And then I'm running a for each loop. So I'm running the loop for every element of element list. So what is the type of this element list? It is a wave element. 
so i am creating a element variable of type wave element and one by one from the element list i am store the value into the wave element and then element dot get text log dot info will write and then this value list is a link list so i will write value list dot add and element dot get text so everything will get added into the list right and then i will return the value list so the method return type is a list of a string so this is your drop down helper guys right so we have some more helpers i will continue into the next video so here we have finished with the alert assertion helper browser and drop down drop down helpers i am go going pretty fast here because this is all selenium method i am just trying to show you why we should write a helper so that when we design the script we can directly call this method and we can get advantage of it okay thank you guys thank you for watching this if you like this video hit like button and subscribe my youtube channel thank you once again